helps support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. Hello, Internet. I'm Scott with Plug Hits Live, part of the Tech Podcast Network. We are here with a robot dog behind us. We'll find out about that in a second, but go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Hi, I'm Rick Scott. I'm a senior product manager for Educational Insights. And basically, I'm Pixel's dad. Very nice, and obviously, we, we've got a lot going on here. I see a tail moving, I've got lights, I've got an eye that appears to be winking at me. Yes. So what exactly are we looking at here with Pixel? So what you're seeing right now is the way we're bringing coding to kids in a new, creative, fun, and interesting way. And so what you do is you log into to Pixel over Wi-Fi. It's a secured situation that has a password. And once you do that, you go to the local.pixel.com, and now you have the UI that pops up, and we can code Pixel in two languages. So it's all done web-based. I don't have to install whatever studio, visual, or Android, or whatever studio version no, you might have. No, no, there's no installing anything. No, and by the way, there's no subscription. Once you buy it, you own it, and now you get to have fun with it. Do you want me to show you how to code it? Yes, please. All right. So here's your UI. So let's go into Blockly real quick. I've already preloaded Dance right there. So now let's hit Run. Once I hit Run, let's see what Pixel wants to do. There we go, Pixel. Come on. There we go. Now there's music actually that's playing right now, but unfortunately we can't hear it with the background. So all right. So then. So that's one thing. Now I can actually save this code and I can send it somewhere else. Let's give it a name. Let's call this Dance One. That's something as far as like Dance One, right? And let's save that. And now you'll see it's right there. And now we're going to send this. Open up. There we go. Come on, you. And that has just now been sent to the code activator. And the code activator allows you to leave your tablet and go and play with it somewhere else. So if I hit number one, that's actually the same thing that we just did in Blockly. So, so there are essentially code blocks built into the storage, and they've got IDs. The, the remote is just sending the ID. Yeah. It doesn't know about the code. It's just saying run one. Yes, absolutely. You figured out the magic. Shh, don't tell anybody. And it looked like you were aiming direct at it, so it's infrared? It's a line of sight with the IR right to the top, yeah. So the next thing is, if we leave actually um, Blockly, let's go over to Python. Python's a little bit more complex, and it has to do with all of the syntax-based language. I don't know Python very well, I'll be honest, even though I developed this. But what we have is we have a built-in cheat sheet, which is in help. Go to commands. There's the Blockly side, there's the definition, there's the uh, Python. I can copy, and then once I do that, I go to Python, and I paste it right there. It's a cheat sheet, but it helps kids. The key thing is to get kids coding and have fun. So it's a cross-reference between the Blockly names, what they do, and what the Python code is. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then we have built-in tutorials. The tutorials in Blockly and in Python are identical, so that the kids, once they do it in, in Blockly, they can go to Python, write it, and they can see it. Okay, that's that's fantastic. This is this is a really cool tool. Um, a lot of our audience knows that we have a relationship on on STEM programming and uh, and education, and so I mean this is. This is something that, like, there's something different about programming into the real world than there is, like, programming into a phone or okay. seeing something come up on your computer. Being able to affect reality is totally different. And that's the other thing, is that that's where we're using real coding languages, right? We don't, this is not proprietary. So once you learn Blockly here or Python, that goes across anywhere else. That's... That's really great. So what all 
do we have here? I assume we've probably got sensors built in. We do, we do. And we broke this up really simply again. You have actions, how it moves, expressions, and then there's sensors right there. So it'll listen. So you can actually make some kind of a noise and you code that. You have a proximity one, which is right there on the front. So you can code that, like if it gets too close to something, it can back up, or it sits down, or maybe when it gets close to the fire hydrant, maybe it pees, I don't know, it depends on what you want to do. So I see a fire hydrant over there. We do have a fire hydrant, yes. So, and then we also have a touch right here. So maybe if you pet it four times, you've coded it to do something else. And then, oh, you asked what else? We also have expressions. You mentioned the eyes earlier. So we can change what the eyes do. We can change the mouth. We can change all of the colors on the body. Right, let's do this real quick. Run, there we go. So change it to blue. That's, that's really cool. And Blockly makes it real easy and then Python makes it real world. Yeah, real world, real useful. And everything stores to your device. So that's another thing. We have a cool code stack right here. There's all of your code. Once you touch it, it loads, and you can see what was there. And, and it's it's all web-based, so you don't have to worry about anything, and it's all just here. Yes. So if I were to switch from this to my laptop, it's all still there. No. Okay. That's it. It stores to here. Okay. But the cool part is, we stored these in your downloads folder. So if you want to go from here and you forgot this device, just email them somewhere and you've got them wherever you go. So, so it would be easy at that point. You could, e you could even sync it with you know, OneDrive or yeah. iCloud or whatever. Yeah. 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 And so what's our availability? What's our price point? So it'll be available uh, in April and it's $124.99. Okay. Again, no subscription. You own it. And I have to do it because I've been tricked on this before. April of 2023. Yes, <laughs> April of 2023, guaranteed. I pro I just checked today. There's no delay in shipping. Excellent. So Very cool. And people are going to want more information, and I yes. guarantee people are going to want these. How can they get them? So go to educationalinsights.com, and right there we'll have tons of information about Pixel. So educationalinsights.com. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. All right, thanks. And I just want everyone to be coders and have a good time. As a software engineer myself, I agree. Thank you. Cheers. And thank you very much. Thank you. For continuing CES 2023 coverage, stay tuned to pluckhitslive.com slash CES.